Hey there and welcome back to my channel. As we are in Plastic for July, I have decided to do a series of three videos where I will show you what swaps and what DIYs I have adopted in my zero waste home. I will be super transparent showing you also all the products that for a reason or another still haven't swapped and maybe still come in plastic. Yes, because zero waste living is not about perfection, it is a work in progress. All the things I will show you are literally the result of years of trying to live as zero waste as possible, experimenting new recipes and looking for swaps. And if you're just getting started, don't think you have to go out and do all of this in a month, but just do it in very little steps. If you still have disposable products in plastic, please don't throw them away to replace them with alternatives. Make sure to make good use of them before buying or making a um, zero waste alternative and let's remember that zero waste does not mean plastic free finally what works for me might not work or be available for you but I just hope that this video will help you maybe with a new idea or inspiration along your zero waste journey okay let's start today from the bathroom the bathroom has been the very first area where I've worked on when I was first going zero waste in 2018 I remember I had drawers and drawers filled with so many different shampoos, conditioners, hairsprays, plastic razors, you name it. So let me show you exactly what I'm using now and how I organize my bathroom. And I'm also going to show you what are the products that are still a little bit of a struggle for me. In the shower I use soap and recently I've been absolutely loving to use this 100% coconut body soap bar which I hand make myself. A safety razor has been one of my very first swaps. I changed the blades probably every five to six months and got mine from this brand which sells them completely plastic free. The only thing you need to know is that you do need to collect the blades into a tin before you can recycle them because otherwise they can be dangerous for workers if you throw uh, the blades uh, just loose into the recycling bin. Plus they're so thin, they will just get lost and definitely not recycled. And I shave normally just using a simple soap bar. For my hair care routine, I keep it very simple and I have just two kinds of shampoo bars really. One is a shampoo bar, which I love and really makes my hair really soft and clean. It's a shampoo I make but because I have really dry hair and scalp, I like to actually alternate it with a cleansing conditioner, which is basically like a low poo shampoo bar. So it's perfect if you have very, very dry hair. I also keep a bottle of vinegar infused with oranges in my bathroom because I like to use it to disinfect any surfaces in between cleaning. Plus I get to repurpose orange peels. All you have to do is just infuse the peels in some vinegar for three weeks. Um, and then this will also make your vinegar smell super good. I keep it in the shower because I also use it probably once a month on my hair and my scalp because vinegar has the ability of softening the hair so much and it's also great to revitalize the scalp, especially if you suffer from like itchy, irritated scalp. Um, or you have really hard water like in London, which can cause buildup. Um, if you can, use apple cider vinegar, which is much better than vinegar. Otherwise, white vinegar um, would work as well. Next, for the conditioner, I use one that I make myself. It's got inside cocoa butter, sweet orange, and the main conditioning agents, which I buy in bulk from online cosmetic stores and then transfer these into jars and for full disclosure some of the ingredients i use to make products do come in plastic but i can with just one order basically make all of my conditioners for pretty much the whole year if not more so that's definitely a way to offset any plastic waste and carbon emissions from the online order Moving on to the sink area, a few weeks ago I shared with you how to make your own toothpaste and tooth powder which I will link again here and I've just ran out of toothpaste and I'm now finishing the tooth powder. As you can see my boyfriend still uses commercial toothpaste, there is no way he will keep that up for my DIY toothpaste. But to be honest, um, during my research on zero waste toothpaste DIYs I actually learned that we consume way more toothpaste then we should literally this is all you should need and by doing so even a plastic toothpaste will last you for months and months so basically if you haven't found the perfect toothpaste to swap or if you just don't want to swap yet reducing the amount that you're using is a great starting point 
I also do have toothpaste tabs, but to be honest, I use them more when I travel. It's just because it's a little odd to get used to chewing a tab every time you have to uh, brush your teeth. My toothbrush is a simple bamboo toothbrush and once I finish one I just collect it um, and just put them all together and then what I'm planning to do is to bring them to my house in Italy where we have a garden and the actual toothbrush can be reused to mark any fruit or veggies or even any plants you have in your garden. Okay, on to toilet paper. I have swapped to plastic-free toilet paper about two months ago. That's two years into my zero-waste life. That's why I tell you not to rush through things. Don't feel like you need to be perfect and take everything in at once. For me, the main problem is that I just couldn't fathom the prices of some of the plastic-free toilet paper. But I did find this Dutch brand called The Good Roll, which I felt was more reasonably priced than others. In these drawers right here, I have my deodorant which I make with shea butter and I use normally magnesium hydroxide because I'm personally not a big fan of baking soda so it works super well it's been actually tried and tested by a lot of you guys and so we'll leave you the recipe up here and link down below and I'm actually able to get all of the ingredients plastic free but again if you can't just buy them in bulk so just in a larger quantity and again if you have like you know your stack of ingredients to make your deodorant trust me you're basically gonna have ingredients to make deodorants for years because one tin lasts for like probably about six months finally last but not least i want to show you how i got rid of um, disposable feminine hygiene products so i tried using the cups many times to be honest doesn't really work for me I think I probably have to look for another kind so at the moment just because I didn't want to go out and you know spend money and kind of waste possibly another cup I've settled using uh, the pads they're really really soft super absorbent and I just use them along leak proof panties and they've been just a life changers because um, I don't know if you experience issues with leaks it's just horrible experience to have these accidents happening and honestly using this combination um, I now have absolutely zero accidents and this just made me love and embrace my period and just accepted I feel way more comfortable than before okay so that's it for today make sure to let me know in the comments below what is the number one swap that you had in your bathroom that you are very very proud of and uh what are the areas or the swaps that you still haven't yeah just taken on and let's just be transparent it's not about feeling ashamed everybody has their own zero waste journey and the best we can do is to just inspire each other's exchange information and make sure to subscribe to the channel because there is going to be a very exciting video for the plastic free july series next week all about self-care okay bye for now